When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we are only going to go over one of Eric Dubay's 200 proofs the Earth is not a spinning ball, number 199. Consider this one a palate cleanser after the last garbage-filled claim that was 198. And after all, number 200 deserves a video all on its own. From Foundations of Many Generations by E. Eschini. The one thing the fable of the revolving Earth has done, it has shown the terrible power of a lie. A lie has the power to make a man a mental slave, so that he dares not back the evidence of his own senses. To deny the plain and obvious movement of the sun he sees before him. When he feels himself standing on an earth utterly devoid of motion, at the suggestion of someone else he is prepared to accept that he is spinning furiously around. When he sees a bird flying and gaining over the ground, he is prepared to believe that the ground is really traveling a great number of times faster than the bird. Finally, in order to uphold the imagination of a madman, he is prepared to accuse his maker of forming him a censiferous lie. <sighs> Coming up on the end here, and Dubay is really showing a commitment to not having any type of of evidence. Just pure rhetoric. Let's see, we have an appeal to common sense. The, the claim asserts that no one using their basic senses would conclude that the earth is spinning because we don't feel any movement, which we have been over a dozen times here. Just because the earth's rotation isn't felt doesn't mean it isn't happening. Our planet moves at a steady, consistent rate, and our senses only notice a change in that rate. Then we have the misunderstandings of basic physics. The argument suggests a simplistic interpretation of observational experiences, like watching the sun move across the sky. The apparent movement of celestial bodies and the dynamics of flying birds are all consistent with a rotating Earth, once you understand the principles of relative motion. Classically, there is a conspiracy angle. This, this claim starts off uh, suggesting that accepting scientific consensus is akin to mental enslavement. This isn't just a misunderstanding. It's a deliberate attempt to turn a lack of personal sensory evidence into an argument against vast, well-documented scientific consensus. And so, obviously, there's the emotional and rhetorical manipulation end. By framing the acceptance of Earth's rotation as an insult to both, both personal sense and divine creation, Eschini appeals to the emotion of the reader. This isn't about presenting facts, but about discrediting and dismissing science through fear and doubt. Is that the first time I said that? It can't be the first time that I've made that statement. Maybe I've said things in the neighborhood, but that really boils down the essence of Dubay's entire book. This isn't about the presentation of facts, but about discrediting and dismissing science through fear and doubt. Man, maybe I should have saved that one for 200. One take, baby. <laughs> it's like I'm getting good at this. Just when it's time to stop.